I heard yesterday yeah. that there was something was going on. What happened yesterday? Well, uh, I don't know what happened. What? Was there a raffle? Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Jason from LDO Motors. Yeah, he, uh, he's an amazing dude. He uh, helped sponsor the, the trip here. So amazing. Tell me more about uh, LDO uh, Motors. Yeah, hi everyone. This is Jason from LDO Motors. It's good to see you again at uh, social media. And uh, welcome to our booth at Remove Rocky Mountain Rap Rapper Festival. So now we have all our Boron series, like Trident, the V0 and the Micro. Okay, that's a Boron series. And we also have a bunch of two head, two head productions here. It's, uh, this is a Garriott 2 with a Nighthawk series. And we did a crystal case. So you can clearly see what inside is Nighthawk SB two head board. And we also have a bunch of uh, external productions. This is a uh, Wix. Yeah, same as crystal case, so it could can easy to see inside. This is the Orbiter 2 extruder with sensor, filament sensor. This is the Smart Orbiter 3 extruder. And uh, here have new Revo version for Smart Orbiter 3. And we also have a bunch of uh, 12 head borders. This is for Orbiter 2, coming to the marketing around the end of May, coming soon. And uh, this is we work with uh, E3D. It's road to headboard with USB solution with a nice heat sink. So it's good to keep, keep nice. it cool. Yeah, keep it cool. This is a, a Nighthawk SB. Here is a new coming Nighthawk 36. So easy to match all the 36 round motors. And here is a ERC LED stickers. Uh, this is a Pico Pico board. We already use on the V0 a lot. And we also have the coming Positron machines to upside down green. Here is our Positron manager. Hello, Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, man. Yeah, yeah. So the schedule is we start pre order for the Positron in the uh, beginning of the May. Yeah, and ship production around the end of May to our resellers. So, oh. yeah, it's coming soon. I know you guys wait the Positron so long time. So we work hard with the Positron team. And uh, yeah, it's finally coming. So I, yeah. I've heard yesterday, yeah. Uh, I heard that something was going on. Yeah. I missed it because I was somewhere way uh, down there. Yeah. What happened yesterday? Well, uh, I don't know what happened. What? Was there a raffle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we, we had a raffle. somebody got a Positron? Yeah, yeah. Somebody got the Positron, free Positron. And we also gave away two coupons for 200 Positron free orders. Wow, yeah. that's and, amazing. Uh, yeah. We also gave away a uh, C2Y, by following C2Y okay, yesterday. So a lot, a lot of people came here. They are so happy. Yeah. So if people want to buy a Positron, yeah, you know, as as a pre-order, I guess. Yeah. Where can they find that? So uh, they will come in most of our <laughs> major reseller. Currently, I think it should be like Fabrico, Western Three D, uh, KB Three D in United States, mm -hmm. and Three uh, D Jack in the UK, uh, EU. Yeah, yeah, and uh, maybe some others. I don't have the final list. We will disclose it when we are ready to pre on. Yeah. So, so this is a uh, this is going to be a kit version that is going to yeah, be sell. Currently, it will be a kit DIY kit. So you need printed some printed parts, but that's all. Uh, it's also come with a travel case, a nice oh. travel case. Yeah. That is that is so cool. Yeah. You know, someone wants and. To I've yeah, also heard that this is uh, in the size of a uh, filament box. Yes, it uh, still could feel into a filament box like this one. <laughs> yeah. That is small. Yeah, when no. you fold it down, it still fit. Yeah. Wow. So, this uh, is you think. so the, uh, the other things we are working on is this is uh, this small, little, little cute machine. It's called Locker MK1. How's it called? 
Rocco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's a it's a steel coax wire, but it's very small and uh, with uh, some printed parts and easy to build. And uh, this is another open source project we are working on. I hope we have some uh, uh, production soon, maybe June or something. It's like econ economic version, small size, steel for X1. With um, we will use like uh, tech Menta and uh, the the CB1 Pi. So the steel for X1. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice machine. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of 3D printed parts. Yeah, uh, yeah. Adding it's some parts uh, from the LDO kit. Yeah, yeah. We will make a kit. Very cool. Yeah, you also can see Adam's uh, hit insert set here. <laughs> yeah, so back to 3D, Adam is our friend and we work with him for a kit, something like this. Yeah, it's very handy. Yeah. And especially yeah. if you do a lot of uh, DIY yeah. projects. Yeah, and yeah it's very you have handy, They're very easy to use. And this is a basic version, and it will coming uh, with a per, per, how to say the professional version. It's come with uh, linear wheels, very smooth, and also a stop, adjust the stop. <laughs> yeah, so easy to use, and the very nice the, the metal base. Yeah, but you also do because it is LDO motors. So yeah. you're also selling. Uh, a uh, lot of uh, stepper motors as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, they have uh, some stepper motor samples. So uh, here, here is a uh, you know, plus this lead screw. Go to the Z motor, three D printed Z motor or CNC, and we also have some uh, closed loop step motors. The building encoder. Here is a bunch of the regular step motors with some is regular temperature, some is high temperature, and uh, here is all the bunch of student motors. This is looking nice. So everybody wants to buy yeah. parts from yeah. LDO Motors. Yeah. Yeah. You do a lot of uh, things yeah. in kits, in motors, yeah. in yeah, basically with motors and uh, 3D printer related parts like linear wheels, extrusions. Yes, yeah, they love LDO parts. And yes, we are trying to work hard for some nice productions, uh, high quality productions. We stick with community, try to help communities. Yeah. Yes. That's all. Checking out this video right over here, where I'm talking about the review from the Creality Ender 3 V3 KA. Right here.